A groundbreaking study from Shanghai University suggests that myelin, the insulating layer around neurons, could enable entangled photons in the brain, potentially unlocking the mystery behind how consciousness synchronizes brain activity. While still a theoretical model, it introduces a fresh quantum approach to understanding the brain's complex functions. Stay tuned as we explore the study's claims, its potential impact on neuroscience, and the road ahead for proving this theory. Published in Physical Review E, the study presents a model describing how certain molecular interactions in myelin sheaths might give rise to entangled photons. These photons could, in theory, function as a kind of quantum signal within the brain. The myelin sheath, which wraps around neurons, contains carbon-hydrogen C-H bonds. These bonds can undergo thermal vibrations, especially during active brain states. Those vibrations emit infrared photons. Due to the cylindrical geometry of the sheath, these emissions could take place inside what is effectively a natural optical cavity. Under the right conditions, photon pairs could emerge, some of which would be entangled. Quantum entanglement means the photons share linked states, allowing them to transmit information in a correlated way, regardless of distance. In the brain, if these biphoton emissions occur consistently, they could help facilitate synchronized neural firing, a known requirement for higher level cognition and awareness. The authors applied quantum electrodynamics equations to biological conditions and estimated that large numbers of biphotons could be emitted every second. Even if only a small portion is entangled, they could still influence signaling patterns across neural circuits. This hypothesis doesn't suggest that the brain is acting like a quantum computer. Instead, it proposes that a quantum communication layer might operate in parallel with classical electrical signaling. That could help explain how different brain regions coordinate activity faster than traditional synaptic transmission alone can account for. Importantly, the model doesn't claim to demonstrate this process experimentally. It offers a physically plausible path based on known anatomy and physics principles, making it a clear, testable starting point for future research. In the 1990s, physicist Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Stuart Homeroff proposed a model called Orchestrated Objective Reduction, or ORCOR. They believed that microtubules inside neurons could support quantum computations related to consciousness. That theory was widely criticized, mostly due to a lack of biological feasibility and experimental support. Critics pointed out that quantum coherence is extremely delicate, usually destroyed in warm, noisy environments like the brain. The Shanghai study avoids the microtubule route and focuses instead on myelin, a well-studied component of the nervous system. Myelin's structured geometry, low water content, and biological function make it a more grounded candidate for supporting quantum phenomena, especially short-lived ones like biphoton entanglement. Meanwhile, the broader field of quantum biology continues to grow. We've seen evidence of quantum effects in photosynthesis, avian magnetoreception, and enzyme catalysis, all examples where biology seems to exploit quantum behavior for improved efficiency. So, while the idea of quantum effects in the brain is still on the fringe, it's not unthinkable. What makes this particular model valuable is that it's not metaphysical. It stays within the bounds of known physical laws and draws a direct line from molecular behavior to neurological function. The study also addresses one of the long-standing puzzles in neuroscience, how brain regions synchronize their activity at incredible speed. Electrical signals alone don't fully account for this coordination. If entangled photons were assisting in that synchronization, even briefly, it could add an entirely new layer to our understanding of brain communication. Ultimately, the theory doesn't try to replace existing neuroscience. It complements it. It provides a framework that could explain previously unexplained aspects of cognition, while remaining anchored in both biology and physics.
The theoretical model is rigorous, but real-world confirmation is another matter entirely. There are several major hurdles to validating this hypothesis. First, there's the issue of measurement. Entangled photons are extremely difficult to detect, even in lab conditions. Doing so inside living tissue, particularly in the dense, dynamic environment of the brain, presents a serious technical challenge. We currently lack the tools to reliably observe such biphoton activity in situ. Second is the problem of decoherence. Quantum states are known to collapse quickly when interacting with the environment. The authors argue that myelin may help shield entanglement due to its physical properties. But whether it's enough to sustain quantum states long enough to be useful remains an open question. Third, even if biphoton emission is occurring, we still need to determine whether it plays a functional role. Does it influence neural synchronization in a meaningful way? Or is it simply a byproduct of natural biological vibrations with no cognitive relevance? The study itself doesn't claim to answer these questions. Instead, it outlines a framework for future research. The authors suggest beginning with simplified systems, such as isolated myelin structures or synthetic analogs, and using advanced photonics equipment to search for evidence of biphoton generation. They also hint at the potential for animal models, such as mice, where neural activity could be tracked alongside photon emissions. This would require integrating tools from both quantum optics and neurobiology, two fields that don't often collaborate directly. The model offers a valuable, testable idea that invites further exploration. Instead of asserting certainty, it shifts the conversation from what if to how would we know, a responsible approach for studying the complex topic of consciousness. This study doesn't prove consciousness is quantum, but it proposes a fascinating theory. Entangled photons in myelin sheaths could explain the brain's rapid neural synchronization. While it doesn't settle the debate, it opens the door for future testing and interdisciplinary exploration. As research advances, we may uncover whether quantum entanglement is key to understanding consciousness. Stay tuned for groundbreaking discoveries in the quest to understand awareness.